Hi everybody, I'm Brent. Get your mat, get yourself ready, go ahead and come down onto your back. Always a good place to start. Just take a moment and chill out. Maybe close your eyes. Take a big deep breath all the way in. Open up your mouth and exhale. Let that breath go all the way out. And then go ahead with an inhale, stretch your arms up overhead. Bring your feet together and push through your heels. And try to pull your belly button down towards your low back so your lumbar spine is pressing down towards the ground. Try to pull your shoulder blades down onto the ground and make yourself as long as you can be from your heels through your fingertips. Your thighs are strong and your arms are reaching back. And take another big breath. And as you exhale, go ahead and hug your knees up into your chest. Give yourself a big squeeze. Maybe pull your forehead up towards your knees. And just take a couple breaths here. Just because you don't have much time doesn't mean you need to rush. If you rush, it often leads to injuries. So just be patient with it and be okay with whatever you can get done in this time. And then spread your arms all the way out to the side. Keep your knees hugged in tight, as tight as you can towards your chest, and drop them slowly down to the right. Turn your gaze to the left. Just take a nice easy twist. Keep your breath smooth and rhythmic. Reach out through your arms so you're stretching across your chest. And then inhale, come up to the center, and exhale down to the left. Turn your gaze to the right. Reach, reach, reach through your fingertips. Pull your shoulders down onto the floor. And then inhale, come back up to the center. Cross your ankles. Grab the outsides of your feet. You want to grab from the underside, not the top. And that'll help you roll yourself along the length of your spine. Roll a couple times, two or three times. And really feel your whole back rolling along the floor. Try to come up onto your shoulders. And then all the way up onto the tailbone. One more time, roll it back. And then roll forward and come up to stand at the front of your mat and fold forward. Feet are hip distance apart. And just grab onto your elbows. Let the crown of your head drop down towards the floor. Lean a little bit of weight into the balls of your feet. Strengthen your thighs. And just breathe nice and deep. Maybe sway a little bit left to right. And as you sway, shift the weight from one leg to the other. And just feel your spine releasing down towards the floor. Feel it getting a little bit longer. With your next inhale, sweep your arms up behind your back. Interlace the fingers, squeeze the palms, reach your arms over the back of your head. Tuck your chin to your chest. And again, lean the weight into the balls of your feet. Listen to your breath. Take another big inhale. And as you exhale, let your hands come down to the floor and step your feet back to a plank pose. Take a moment in your plank. Spread your fingers wide. If plank is too much for you, you can modify and put your knees on the floor. Always a good option. Press your heels back. Feel your tailbone curl down towards your heels so you just check in with the engagement of your abdominals. Press your upper back up towards the ceiling. So if you feel that space between your shoulder blades sinking down, try to inflate up. Push your chest away from the ground. Take one more breath like this. And as you exhale, lower down slowly all the way to your belly. Point your toes. And with an inhale, roll up to a nice easy cobra pose. And as you exhale, come down. And again, maybe a little bit higher. Inhale up to Cobra. Make sure you're drawing your palms backwards as if you're trying to slide your body forwards on the mat. Exhale, come back down. One more time. Inhale up to a Cobra pose. And as you exhale, just press back to Child's pose. Bend your knees. Sink your hips back towards your heels. Keep your arms extended out in front of you. Maybe rest your forehead on the floor. Keep your knees as wide as you can get them. And drop your chest right down between your thighs. 
And then take one more breath here. And as you exhale, lean forward, tuck your toes, lift into downward facing dog. And just take a moment in down dog, maybe bend one knee and press the opposite heel down towards the floor. And then switch sides, bend the opposite knee, press the other heel down. And then come back to the center. And really feel the length through your spine, pressing down through the roots of your fingers, lifting your hips up and back, chin to your chest. Engage your thighs, put a slight bend in your knees, feel that stretch in the backs of your legs. And then as you inhale, lift your heels, look forward, bend your knees slightly, and either step or if you feel like jumping, you can jump to the front of your mat. With an inhale, look up, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold all the way forward. And just do that one more time. Inhale, look up, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold all the way forward. And as you inhale, sweep all the way up. Bring your palms together. Look up. And exhale, let your hands come down by your side. Let's take one sun salutation just to get a little blood flow. Inhale, sweep all the way up. Exhale, fold all the way forward. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, step or jump back. Lower down, either to your belly or halfway. Inhale through upward facing dog or cobra, whatever you feel like your body is ready for. And as you exhale, lift back, downward facing dog. Take a couple breaths here. Listen to the sound of your breath. Again, no rush. It's more effective to work deeply into a few poses than it is to rush through as many poses as you can cram into whatever time you have. Okay, take another big deep breath all the way in. Open up your mouth, stick out your tongue, let that breath go. And then as you inhale, lift your heels. Bend your knees slightly, look forward, step or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold all the way forward. Inhale, sweep all the way up, bring your palms together, look up. And as you exhale, let your hands come down by your side. Go ahead and step your right leg all the way back to the back of your mat. Turn your right toes to face the back of your mat. Turn your left heel at a 45 degree angle. Reach the arms out so you're setting up for a triangle pose. With an inhale, reach way out. And as you exhale, come down. So you wanna feel this along the right hamstring, the right inner groins. You wanna feel length through your spine. You might feel a little stretch through this left uh, side of the body just above the waist. Try to stay light on your right fingertips so they're not pressing down into the floor. You're not supporting your weight through that arm. You're just holding yourself up through your core. Strengthen the thighs and really drive back through your left heel. Lots of energy going in all different directions through your body here. One more breath. Good. And as you inhale, come back up. Switch your feet, face the left foot forward, right heel turns back towards the back of your mat. Inhale, reach way out. Exhale, come down into a triangle pose. And breathe. Let's just take two more breaths like this. And of course, if you have a little bit more time and you want to spend a little more time in any of these poses, you can always pause the video and take whatever time you need and then come back in. Inhale, come back up to the center and then just step your right foot back to the front of the mat. With an inhale, take a chair pose, bend your knees, reach your arms up high and just spend a moment here refining your chair pose. Curl your tailbone down towards your heels, draw your belly in, try to lift your hands and really rotate your palms up towards the ceiling. Straighten the arms as much as you can and pull your shoulders down your back. Take another big deep breath, maybe sink a little bit lower. And as you exhale, fold all the way forward. Inhale, look up and lengthen your spine. 
And when you exhale, step or jump both feet back. Lower halfway down or all the way to your belly if you like. Inhale through upward dog or cobra. And exhale back to downward facing dog. With an inhale, sweep your right leg all the way up and back. Open up your hip and bend your knee, reach the heel towards your butt. Press your left heel down towards the floor. Press your chest back towards your left thigh. Take another big full breath in. And as you exhale, step the right foot through your hands. Spin the back heel down to the floor and with an inhale, come up to a crescent pose. Oh, sorry, warrior one, that's what I meant to say. Press your palms together, pull the left hip forward, sink down into the right thigh. Take one more breath here. And as you exhale, let your hands come down to the floor. Step your right leg back, lower halfway down. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale back to downward facing dog. With an inhale, raise your left leg up and back. Open up your hip and bend the knee, reach the heel towards your butt. Press your chest back towards your right thigh. Turn your left hip up towards the ceiling. Find your edge, take another breath in, and as you exhale, gently step your left foot through your hands. Spin the back heel down, and inhale, rise to warrior one. Sink down into that left thigh. Try to work that right hip forward. Press your palms together. Feel your chest lifting and your belly drawing in. One more breath here. Exhale, let your hands come down to the floor. Step your left leg back, lower halfway down. Inhale to Upward Facing Dog. Exhale back to Downward Facing Dog. And take a few breaths here. Keep a slight bend in your knees. Lift your sit bones up away from the floor. And really listen to the sound of your breath. Try to roll your biceps forward. Strengthen your thighs. And with your next inhale, lift your heels. Bend your knees and look forward. And step or jump your feet to the front. Inhale, look up and lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold all the way forward. Inhale to a chair pose. Exhale, press yourself to stand. Let your hands come down by your side. And again, step the right leg all the way back. Point the right toes towards the back of the mat. Turn your left heel towards the front of the mat. Bend your right knee deep and just take your right hand outside your right foot. Reach your left arm out for a nice side angle stretch. Strengthen your left thigh as much as you can. Try to look up towards your left fingers. Pull your left shoulder back a little bit so you're rotating your chest up away from the floor. And if you can, push that right knee into your right arm and breathe. One more breath here. Good, inhale. Come all the way back up, switch your feet, bend the left knee, sink down, passing through warrior two, left hand on the floor outside your left foot, reach the right arm out, strengthen the right thigh, Pull the right shoulder back down into its socket. Strengthen, strengthen, strengthen. Push the left heel, or sorry, the left knee into your left arm. Turn your right shoulder up away from the floor. Two more breaths. Good. And with an inhale, come back up to the center. Step back to the front of your mat. A little bit of hip flexor opening and a twist and then a back bend and you're all done. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up. Exhale, fold all the way forward. Inhale, half lift. When you exhale, step your right leg way back. Drop that knee down to the floor. Point the right toes. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up. Sink your hips way down. And if you want to put a little back, back bend into it here, start to lift your chest and lean back. It should feel good. Try not to strain. Take another big deep breath all the way in. And as you exhale, bring your hands to prayer.
twist to the left. Take your right tricep across your left thigh and start to press your chest to your palms. Okay, you can keep the back knee down on the floor. If you'd rather tuck the toes and lift it up, you can do that. And if you want to try to go deeper into your twist, reach your right hand down to the floor and reach your left arm up towards the ceiling and breathe. Take one more big deep breath all the way in. Exhale, let your hands come down to the floor. Step your left leg back, lower halfway down. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale back to downward facing dog. With an inhale, step your right foot forward. Drop the left knee down to the floor, point the left toes. Inhale, reach up, press your palms together. Sink your hips down low. And again, if it feels okay, maybe start to lift your chest and lean back into it. Try to keep pulling that right hip back as the left hip goes forward. You should feel a nice stretch through your left hip flexor. Take another big deep breath. And as you exhale, pull your hands to prayer. Twist to the right. Take your left tricep across your right thigh. And take your twist. If you like, tuck the back toes and lift the left knee off the floor. Straighten and strengthen that leg. Maybe take the left hand down outside your right leg and reach the right arm up. Try to turn not just your chest, but your belly button as well. Take another big deep breath in. Keep that back thigh strong. And as you exhale, let your hands come down to the floor. Step your right leg back. Lower halfway down. Inhale to Upward Facing Dog. Exhale back to Downward Facing Dog. Take two breaths. And with your next inhale, lift your heels. Bend your knees, look forward. Step or jump your feet to the front of your mat. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold all the way forward. Inhale, sweep all the way up. Bring your palms together. Look up. Exhale, let your hands come down. Separate your feet about hip distance. Turn your toes out at about a 45 degree angle. And then just go ahead and squat all the way down. Okay. And take a moment here. Press your knees apart. Lift your chest. And breathe. And then walk your hands back behind you. Keep your butt up off the floor. Roll your shoulders back. And then just take your left arm and reach up and back. Press your hips up by pushing down into your heels. Look down at your right hand and really drive that right arm down into the ground. Okay, take a nice big deep stretch here. And as you exhale, put the left hand down. Keep your hips hovering above the floor. Raise your right arm up. Press into the heels. Take another big deep breath all the way in. And as you exhale, let the right hand come down to the floor. And just put your butt down on the ground. Stretch your legs out in front of you. And if you have time, go ahead and lay down into Shavasana for a couple minutes if you're able. Always a good idea to just take a last moment of rest and reflection at the end of whatever practice you do. And just feel the energy moving through your body. And feel the weight of your body against the floor. And chances are, if this is the practice you chose for yourself today, you have somewhere you need to be right now, something you need to do. So just gently start to wake your body back up. Maybe stretch your arms back overhead one more time, just like you did when you started. And then slowly bend your knees, roll over to one side, and make your way back up. Spend a moment seated and breathing in meditation if you have the time. Otherwise, go on with your day. Enjoy the feeling that you now have of being a little bit more open, a little bit more connected to your body. And uh, keep practicing. Namaste.